Testing one, two, and the trois. All right, we're live. Hi, guys. Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very exciting video as we're talking about the transition of Meta, formerly known as Facebook, who are transitioning from Oculus to Meta also as they're scrapping the name. And also, we're going to talk about Dyson. Very exciting news about how they're using VR for the consumers. So a lot more coming just now. Before we start, though, just want to let you guys know that HP are sponsoring us a brand new HP Reverb G2 that you can enter to win. And also a brand new pair of cyber shoes which is sponsored by cyber shoes and game keys and more in celebration of our 10,000 subscribers now i will release the details very soon so make sure you do enable the bell after you subscribe so you get that video so you know how to enter to potentially win that all right let's transition over uh to the article so the first article i'd like to talk about is the meta uh, that is rebrand. I mean, Oculus. That's rebranding uh, to the Meta Quest. Um, so basically, it says um, back at its Connect conference last month, Meta announced. This is the article from Upload VR, by the way. Um, that its new name to replace the Facebook branding at the event confirmed. It would be phasing out parts of the Oculus brand uh, to instead focus on its new name. Now, by the way, just so that you guys know. Um, uh, the Oculus Studios will remain, but it's only going to change on the actual headset itself. So Oculus will still make games and all these kind of things. But Meta uh, Reality Labs has already changed name, by the way, from Facebook Reality Labs to Meta uh, Reality Labs as well. So they're pretty, uh, you know, serious in, 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 in carrying out the consistency uh, of this brand. So. Um, at the time, the company said the transition would be gradual, and we saw the first MetaQuest advertising a week later. So, by the way, guys, there is a video on the channel where we spoke about that. Do go and check it out, uh, which was this one here. Uh, they're about to release some Meta VR retail stores, and also uh, Disney, uh, sorry, Star Wars uh, was going to release something at the Disney uh, in California or something uh, using the Meta uh, using Meta branding. So do go and check out those, uh, those videos too. Um, so, um, and now the logo is fixed at the top of the Oculus.com website. So let's go and check out the Oculus.com uh, because I haven't actually seen uh, the website yes, uh, yet, yet, sorry. Oculus.com, let's go and check it out. Let's see, where is it? Oh yeah, here it is. At the very top, so on the top uh, right-hand side, we have MetaQuest now, no longer Oculus. So guys, leave a comment below. What what do you think of this? Is this going to affect how you feel? Are you someone who's, um, you know, have you guys purchased the Quest? Have you been using the Quest for quite some time when the Oculus Rift was around? Um, you know, are you sad that, you know, the Oculus name is changing or you don't care or perhaps you don't even know the history at all? Leave a comment below. Let us know. Uh, your feedback let's let's have that conversation uh, i'd love to get uh, get your thoughts uh, on all that kind of stuff so um and also i would imagine that the oculus name on the actual headset itself here uh, will also change of course uh, from oculus which you can see here uh, i'm guessing it will say meta uh, eventually i mean i don't know meta to me just doesn't sound like a brand it sounds weird to use it as a brand but that's just my opinion um, let us know, as I mentioned, in the comments below. So it's here, top left-hand side uh, of the website, as you can see. Um, and then they put some uh, some pictures here. So the MetaQuest logo has replaced the old Oculus from the Facebook logo on the top left of the page. The company's new symbol is sitting next to it. Uh, there's still some elements of the Oculus Quest 2 branding left for now. However, uh, hover your mouse over the Products tab, and you can still click to purchase an Oculus Quest 2. Two. Okay, so they'll basically phase it out maybe next year or something like that. So that's basically for the first article, guys. Now, the other thing I want to talk about was Dyson. I'm actually pretty excited about this. They're using VR um, to basically enable people to test out their products, which I think is great because we haven't really seen retail uh, consumer-driven you know, brands to use virtual reality for people to test it. Generally speaking, uh, you know, maybe, okay, Aldi have used it, like they have a showroom inside of VRChat. I believe Toyota do, do as well. But you know, those are 
Oh, okay, they're car brands. But we haven't seen like kind of accessory brands, you know, like, like hair dryers and hoovers, that kind of stuff to use VR. I think it's quite odd, but I think it's fantastic. So let's just transition over and let me show you the, um, the video about it on the Independence website. Uh, okay, the volume's up loud. There we go. And let me just double check first uh, that you can We've actually hear the sound. virtual store so that you can get a hands-on experience. Yes, you can. Okay, so let me just start it again. There we go. We've developed a virtual store so that you can get a hands-on experience of using the product and seeing what it's like in your home. It's different in that you can dive inside the product and see the technology. Get a really, really wonderful three-dimensional virtual experience of what the product's all about. That's really amazing. We have design engineers and mechanical engineers who create the CAD, the physical product, and then that's used throughout the whole company. And it's those models that we use directly in our virtual worlds. For us, with VR, it's been about developing and making the invisible visible. So enabling our engineers to be able to see and understand the technology and understand the decisions that are being made. You could sit inside a prototype and you could look out of the window, you could look around you and see the completed car. That's uh, that's really really amazing. Uh, the sound just um, just gone just now. So I'd love to know more. I'd love to hear more about all they're doing. But uh, basically, they are working with um, you know they, they they're basically going to be. Okay, let me just uh, there we go. Uh, I think the article changed automatically. Uh, okay, let me just pause it. So basically, uh, now what they're doing is, of course, they want as many people to be able to test out the products and go into the app, right? So what they've done is, because there's no real competitor to uh, Facebook Meta at the moment, um, they decided to launch the app on the Oculus Quest 2's uh, App Store or the Meta Store, which will be called uh, fairly soon. So, you know, I mean, there's nothing else you can do, really. They, will they put it in the Pico Neo 3 Pro's uh, store? Or, or is Pico going to be called ByteDance? Is it going to change name? Is it going to be call, called the ByteDance store? Subscribe to the channel and enable the bell to find out in future videos. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, they're, they're going to enable it on the Meta Store uh, because they need as many people as possible to be able to test all this stuff. Um, you know, it's a shame there is no competition at the moment. I still don't know why there isn't any more competition, but anyway, there you go. Uh, let's just transition over and go through the article very quickly. Um, so, so Dyson has unveiled, let me just make it a little bit bigger so you can see. Uh, Dyson has unveiled the latest chapter. This fast expanding um, uh, direct to consumer retail approach, introducing advanced virtual reality technology to enable its customers to experience and test Dyson technology hands on from their own home using a VR headset. Now, to be honest with you, I, I thought what was very interesting about this also is that they're not using AR, they're using VR. Um, now, it does make sense because AR, of course, uh, the glasses are not out yet and Enreal's glasses are only out in selected places throughout the world. They just released their glasses in the US, by the way, or they're just about to release it. Um, I will confirm this in a future video as well. Um, you know, so AR isn't there. We can't wear AR yet as much as VR. So I think it's very interesting that they developed their own app. Uh, I will try to get in touch with Dyson themselves and see, you know, try and see if I can get an interview with them, maybe do a little podcast as part of the uh, business uh, the Meta Business Podcast that we release every Sunday. So do make sure you're unable to bell because tomorrow uh, we're interviewing the founder and also the lead developer of Walkabout and Mini Golf Guys. So make sure you do unable to catch the bell so you catch that video uh, tomorrow. Um, so I think it's fantastic that they're using VR to do this. Uh, users are able to examine virtual versions of the company's hair coral straighteners, supersonic hair dryer. Uh, and are able to use air wrap styler on strands of virtual hair. So that's going to be very interesting. I'm going to see whether they also have a PC VR version so I can bring you future videos because VR Essentials is all about the practical uses of virtual reality. So I thought this was extremely interesting uh, news to bring you guys. And also there was an article on Reuters, uh, which was actually much more... Uh, much more elaborate. So let me just find the article very quickly. There we go, it's here. So let me just go to the article. And guys, do stay until the end of the video because we're gonna be doing 
uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, welcome uh, of new subscribers to the channel and read some of your comments from previous videos as well. Uh, so here we go. So this news came out literally on the 19th and today with the 20th. So this was yesterday. Um, and then we have been harnessing powerful virtual reality technologies to engineer uh, new products in our labs for many years. Now we're applying those same technologies to reinvent how people explore our products uh, according to the um, James Dyson, the actual uh, company founder and chief engineer. Um, so, yeah, so basically it will be on the Oculus Meta store and uh, e-commerce director Sean Newmarch said demonstrations was an important part of showing how products worked and how the Dyson Demo VR would in future incorporate. Guys, if you can test out the product as well on your on your Meta Quest, you know, and put a comment below. Let us know, uh, you know, by the time you see this video, it might actually be in the store already. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of it. I will try to see if it's in PC VR on Steam because there's no mention of it being on Steam. Uh, however, I do know that they use uh, PC VR videos, uh, sorry, uh, PC VR uh, headsets to do the testing. All right, guys, so uh, remember that we're doing a giveaway for the 10,000 subscribers of the HP Reverb G2, brand new HP Reverb G2, sponsored by HP themselves, so they will send it themselves directly to whoever wins it, and also a brand new pair of cyber shoes. Ooh, very nice, and game keys and more. So make sure you're enabled with the bell after you subscribe for the details of the entry of that video. All right, now let's do some, um, some uh, welcoming Okay, I hope, I hope that uh, I wasn't the video wasn't on me all that time, and I didn't forget to uh, transition. Uh, let's go to um, the Synth Riders. Okay, we did an oh, interview. Geez. We did an interview with the Synth Riders guys, by the way, uh, last weekend. So do go and check out that podcast on the Business uh, Meta podcast. Uh, but let's go and check out um, the Pico Neo Three versus the Pico Neo Three Pro. Uh, did the unboxing. We've also comparing the. Uh, comparing the 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 some of the headsets with the HP Reverb G2. So Cry, Crow VR said, uh, Croy VR said, uh, liking the the live one take format as a live streamer myself. I enjoy this kind of presentation. Look forward to seeing how you develop it. Thanks very much, Croy VR, for your uh, comment. Really appreciate that. And hi to you. Uh, Jake Swall says, is the tracking good on Beat Saber expert mode? Unfortunately, I don't have Beat Saber. Uh, I'm very sorry, I don't I don't purchase Beat Saber. Um, I have O-Shape, however, so I will try it. Uh, thanks for your comment, Jokes, uh, Jake Swall. Uh, ben McCain says, can you make another vid on the HP Reverb G2? Because there is a lack of communication um, between HP about it. I think he's talking about the new uh, G2, the differences between the previous one and the new one. Uh, as they have upgraded the uh, the tracking and and some other stuff. Yes, I will definitely do that um, in the future. Now let's welcome some new subscribers to the channel. Let's go to YouTube Studio and let's go here. Recent subscribers, see you all guys. I love you guys. Super awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'd like to welcome Captain Mel uh, M. Shilia, uh, Jews Dao. Uh, Rosayan, Amanda Song, Schultz116, School King Reacts, Pot Sasquatch, <laughs> I love that name, uh, Bruno Yuji, uh, Joku Taipei, Amazing Videos, <laughs> wow, that's a cool name, uh, Off underscore, Z underscore, and I'd also like to welcome uh, Carl Child Maple, Powergraph, Chen Owen, uh, Bugij, Bugji, Benjamin Martini, uh, Dan, Dan Yates, uh, Udaya Chandas S, Paul Gajda, Salvador Ginoves, uh, Ginoves, sorry, uh, and Nintella. Wow, nice, nice name also, uh, Nintella. So guys, thank you so much for joining the channel. Guys, we're almost, uh, if I just check very quickly, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. I mean, check this out. 8,538. Guys, we're giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2, as I mentioned, uh, you know, to commemorate the 10,000 subscribers. Enable the bell so you get to know how to enter this competition. It's gonna be absolutely epic. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Love you guys. I'll see you in the in the Business Meta podcast tomorrow with Walkabout Mini Golf and in the comments below. Until then, have a great Saturday. See you later guys, bye.